Hi, let's solve one previous question of parsing compiler. This question was asked in get CS22 question number 3. Which one of the following statement is true and four options are given. Option A, the LALR1 parser for grammar G cannot have reduce-reduce conflict if the LR1 parser for G doesn't have reduce-reduce conflict. By merging same LR0 items of LR1, we are getting LALR1. So there may be or may not be present reduced risk conflict in LR1, but while merging, we may get reduced risk conflict in LALR1. But here it is written cannot have. It can have reduced risk conflict if LR1 parser doesn't have reduced risk conflict. But in case of shift reduce conflict, if LR1 have shift reduce conflict, then LR1 must have shift reduce conflict. So option A is false. There may be reduce reduce conflict in LR1 if LR1 doesn't have reduce reduce conflict. Next option B, symbol table is assessed only during the lexical analysis phase. This is false. Symbol table is a data structure for storing identifier by the compiler. It can be assessed by all the phases of compiler. Here it is written only during the lexical analysis phase. This is false. It can assess by lexical analysis phase. Also it can assess by other phases. As here only written due to this it is false. Next option C, data flow analysis is necessary for runtime memory management. What is data flow analysis? How data is flowing in the execution path of a program that is data flow analysis and that we can find by a flow graph. And what is runtime memory management? The compiler create and manage runtime environment in which it assumes its target program are being executed. It's not related with data flow analysis. Runtime memory management means LAS, how we are storing in LAS, how we are assessing data from LAS, that is logical address space. Data flow analysis is not related with runtime memory management, so this is false. Next option D, LR1 parsing is sufficient for deterministic and test-free language. This is true, every LRK language is deterministic contest-free and every deterministic contest-free language is LR1. So we can say LR1 parsing is sufficient for deterministic contest-free language. LR1 parsing is most powerful among all the parsing. We can say this is sufficient for deterministic contest-free language. This is true. We found option A is false, option B is false, option C is false, option D is true, answer is option D. I already discussed parsing, just go through that, you can easily solve this question. And if this lecture is helpful for you, please like and subscribe. Thank you.